Example four. Draw two similar figures for each. So um, they're giving us the scale factor, and then we have to just draw um, whatever you want. So your diagram is not is probably not going to look like mine, but it doesn't matter as long as you draw two triangles with scale factor of two. Now, if it if the scale factor is two, that's a whole number. Remember, scale factors look like fractions, right? So if a scale factor is a whole number of two, I could turn that into a fraction just by putting it over one. So it would just be two to one. Now, what does that mean? If the scale factor is two to one, that means if one side of my first triangle, let's say, is 10, what would be that side, the corresponding side of the other triangle? It'd be five. So this just means that my first triangle is going to be twice as big as my second triangle. So again, for similar polygons, um, they have the same shape but different size. Okay, so then I need to have two triangles that have the same shape. So you can't draw one triangle like this and then another triangle like, you know, a right triangle if this is not a right triangle. Okay, so make sure they have the same shape. It's okay if you, you know, rotate it a little bit and it doesn't, it's not positioned exactly like that. It's okay, but it just has to have the same shape. So uh, let's say I have a triangle like that and then I have a triangle. Now, you know that you have to draw the second or the first one bigger than the second one, right? Because it's, it's a scale factor of two to one. So I can just represent it like three, like that. And then I can say um, four, two, five, half of that would be 2.5, and then six, and three. Okay, this would be one example of um, two triangles that are similar with the scale factor of two. Okay, so if we look at the ratio of each of their sides, they're all going to be two over one. Now, the next one two quadrilaterals with a scale factor of one to three. So remember, quadrilaterals, that means if one side of my quadrilateral is one, then the second one has to be three. So you see how. My second quadrilateral has to be bigger than my first quadrilateral, right? So let's see, I'm going to draw a quadrilateral like this. My second quadrilateral is going to be a lot bigger. So, um, and you don't have to draw, mine, mine look like rectangles, but you can draw them like, you know, any type of quadrilateral, it just says quadrilateral. Okay, so show your angles like this. That your angles are congruent. Four. One, two, three, four. And then if this is one, then this would be three. If this is one, this would be three. If this is three, then this will be nine. Same thing here, three and nine. Okay? So um, however you want to do it. This is um, kind of, you know, use your own. Um, I mean, don't copy, I mean, try to draw a different, something a little bit different than this, okay? Um, make it a little more challenging. Just make sure that the scale factor is, uh, are these two right here, okay? So that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.